Hey everybody, we just got back from vacation and I wanted to show you guys our set it and forget it uh, homemade solar wax melter. We have a bunch more honey to extract. We don't have any sort of machinery. We have a hand crank extractor. We do have a tub where the wax cappings go and it was getting too full. We have too much honey, too many frames and we had to do something with that wax. Wax, for those who don't know, is a very, very valuable resource. It takes a lot of energy from the bees. Um, they generally don't like to reuse it as is, so you could melt it and paint your frames if you got plastic frames or if you have the, uh, the wax inserts, but you have to be real careful if it's a stamped wax foundation. But either way, we are gonna use it in bars of soap, candles, uh, whatever have you. Um, so, one of the things about wax cappings though is there's a lot of funk in those cappings, whether that's, uh, you know, bits of other insects or dirt or old bad wax or whatever have you. So you need to filter it somehow. Wax melts at a pretty low temperature. Um, probably should have looked up the temperature before I started this video, but uh, indirect sunlight on hot days with a black background it will melt especially if you put it through glass so we had to come up with our own solar wax melter you can buy them from Man Lake for like 200 bucks or something like that uh, this one is probably bigger than that one on Man Lake it might not be as nice but it really worked with stuff we had around the farm now this is a door can you want to come up this is a door that a buddy gave us from uh, a store that closed. It's a refrigerator or freezer door. You can see where it hinged and you can see the handle. So we put that, we tried it on top of here. We tried, we first tried this storm door that we had lying around. I forgot to set it upright. The heat killed the grass underneath for a bit. My bad. Okay. Hey, back up, bud. That's good. Yeah. So our first vehicle, as I was saying, was this big stock tub where inside was going to be this uh, black tote, but it didn't quite fit. Nothing worked. Our filter, we put the wax cappings. I cut out this um, screen. It's actually a metal screen. But uh, so what we did... I'll try and be easy here. So that random ice scraper was to clean any dust off the screen. So you can see here a lot of the dirt and the nasty gunk. We were gone for six days. This stuff is not going to melt. Tons and tons of sunshine while we were gone. So we don't need it. But if you notice what we did do and you at home could easily just put holes in this and use baling twine if you're farmers or any other type of thing these holes up top are nice we got these totes at i think home depot but i'm just going to pull this off and you can see how it works the wax melts filtered through and it comes out this beautiful pure yellow. Now, you wanna have some water in the bottom so that your wax doesn't really stick to the bottom, which it looks like there's so much wax concentrated in one area it did. Man, that's hard. So from here, we can sift out the water, clean out, rinse off the wax, and then remelt it into one big block or use these little chunks which melt even easier when we're putting it in our soaps and everything else but okay and if you want to zoom in this uh wax stalagmite that formed while we're on vacation is really cool so again all of this wax is simply from the wax cappings from our honey frames after this last extraction pull back bud So if anyone has any questions, please let us know, like and subscribe, take care.